Is it true that for Christmas your book was sold and this they gave uh, leopard skin paper to wrap the book in it? It's true? <laughs> you know a lot, don't you? Are you talked about in the States as John Collins' sister or is she talked about as Jackie's Collins' sister? <laughs> never mentioned in America yeah but in in Europe it's mm. a little more so because in Europe she's been a big star for so many years yeah but in America no because uh, I've had so many successful books there that have been number one mm. that people don't you know really know that we so don't think of it no never you are the author of giant bestseller worldwide how many copies did you sell until now about a hundred billion books you write every day yes you have to, as a writer, you know this, mm. that you have to drag yourself to the desk mm. because otherwise you don't do it. A lot of people talk about it. Mm. They want to do it. They say, oh, I'll write a book one day. But yeah. They never do it. You must have as power. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. How many hours do you write every day? I write, uh, I guess I start writing about 9 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And I write through till about 6 or 7. And if I'm really on a roll, I'll write all night. And I'll put a bottle of scotch on the desk and just write ah. all night. I like that a lot. How many pages per day? Ten. Ten. I try to achieve She's another ten. age. Yeah. Yeah. Ten is, is quite good. Twenty is great. And one is not good. What advice would you give me to write a bestseller? I think you already have. <laughs> <laughs> but if I was going to give advice to people out there, I would say, mm -hmm. you, you can't talk about it. You have to do it. You have to put that, you know, ass on that chair and actually do it, you know? Tell me about Rockstar, your last book. Well, Rockstar is the book that I wanted to write because it's an exciting story that I saw it as an exciting story about three rock stars. Mm -hmm. Bobby Mondello, who's the black soul superstar, mm -hmm. Raffaella, who's this beautiful girl, and she becomes famous in Brazil. Mm -hmm. um, she sings Brazilian funk rock. Mm -hmm. And Chris Phoenix, who's the English rock star. He's and like Rod Stewart and Mick Jagger. Rod Stewart no. and Mick Jagger, yeah. yeah. People have compared him to that because he's a definitive English rock star. I mean, he starts off at 18 and rises to 36. I mean, mm -hmm. his age changes in the book and you see him go through everything mm -hmm. it's almost a manual of how to become a rock star <laughs> you met a lot of rock stars you know you, you yeah. met the Beatles the Stones yes, yes. I met them all yeah, yeah. In fact, I, was with, uh, I met a lot because my husband has uh, always owned discotheques so you yes know, you I, were the Adlib the famous Adlib the club famous in London the Adlib is where I met my husband the Royals and met all the Beatles and the Stones and, yeah. and the Rod and everybody and it was great for me because over the years I watched to, you know, to see how the rock stars change, what happened in their careers, the women in their mm -hmm. lives. And if a movie was to be done from a rock star, which one would you like? I would like to see Sting ah. with a raunchy <laughs> English rocker because yeah. he has rock star eyes, you know. He yeah. has that charismatic kind of uh, feeling when he gets in front of the camera. And maybe Whitney Houston for the girl. I mm -hmm. saw Whitney in New York. Uh, how much money was invested in the States for the launching of your book? I have no idea. I never asked that, but I just oh, make sure that I'm there's sure a lot. I'm sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't ask that question, but I make sure that they do it properly, that they mm. place a lot of ads. It's very well like done. That. There is a commercial in which you say, when it comes to the lives of the rich and the famous, mm. I wrote the book. That's this true. Is true. This is true. Well, I did. <laughs> and I think, you know, when people read my kind of fiction, mm. they are getting a uh, very close look at what actually goes on. Toned down, because if I yeah. told the real truth, nobody would believe it. We must discover who, who it is every time. You have a leap out. You are very... Oh, I love huh? them. Yes, I love leopards. Yeah. I, I just, uh, I think they're beautiful animals and they're very powerful, very strong. It's, it's a fun gimmick. to collect It's them. a gimmick in a way. No? I guess so. Is, is it true that for leopards. Christmas, your book was sold and this, they gave uh, leopard skin paper to wrap the book in it. It's true? <laughs> you know a lot, don't you? I, I, I <laughs> know a lot about it. They had this wild picture of me kind yeah. of lying on a leopard skin rug with yeah. clothes on, mm. and they wrapped it around the book as a special kind of Christmas promotion. It's good merchandising, no? It was fun. You've got to have fun in life, you and know? And they say, make it a Jackie Collins Christmas. That's no? right. <laughs> wouldn't, you, wouldn't you have preferred to be involved in literature, I mean? instead of commercial book business. But you see, I'm a storyteller. Yeah. I have never pretended to be a great literary writer. I don't want to be a literary writer, and I probably couldn't be a literary writer, mm -hmm. but I love to tell stories. I dropped out of school when I was 15, yeah, and I no. knew that what I wanted to do was write. And men read my books because they think they're very raunchy, very sexy. Mm -hmm. Women read them because they like the strong women. And uh, my real fans read them because they like the humor. But wouldn't you exchange one million copies against the Pulitzer Prize? 
No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. What would I do with a Pulitzer surprise? I mean, you don't suffer of being uh, so successful and to write commercial novels. No. You don't suffer no. of it. Because I myself never think of them as commercial. Mm. I think that when I sit it's down to write... It's what you want to write. Yeah, when yeah. I write Rockstar, mm. Mm. I'm not writing Rockstar to go out and sell millions of copies. I'm mm. writing because it's what I want to do. Mm. And I'm very happy mm. that it sells millions of copies, but it's not the reason I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. You don't want to write someday a book with, without recipes, just about you, your, your life, oh, with your a, husband? A, a biography? A miserable book. You would be so <laughs> poor. It wouldn't be miserable, it would be very happy. <laughs> your, your sister left England before you, and you oh, rejoined yes. her yes. in Los Angeles. Uh -huh. You were jealous of her? No. She was a movie star in Hollywood when yeah. I was this wild child in England. Yeah. And I was expelled from school because I used to wave in, in Regent's Park. There used to be a guy that used to flash. Do you, is mm. that what you call it yeah. in France? Yeah, flash And I used to wave at him and I used to say, ah, cold day today. <laughs> so they were really cross with me, the teachers. They said, we must get rid of this girl. And I played truant all the time. I was bad. I used to go to the south of France and uh, steal Henry Miller out mm. of the local drugstore and smuggle him back to England because at that time... It was forbidden, mad. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. She's becoming a novelist now, your sister, no? no I think everybody She's will always perceive my sister as an actress. Mm. And in life, I think you have a vocation. Mine is to write and hers is to act. But she's coming on your territory, no? Not really. I think after 20 years and 12 books, she, she will wants. have to run very fast indeed. There is no fight between, between the no, two of you. No, we're the best of friends. Yeah. We always have been. The press would love to have it otherwise, but we always yeah. have been. But you don't meet that much often, no? I don't. You don't meet that oh, much yes. often, no? We meet at airports. Hello, <laughs> I'm going to Paris and <laughs> you're going somewhere else. You've been married with the same man for the last 20 years. 21 years. years. 21 yeah. years, yeah. A long it's time in Hollywood. A long time. It's different from your sister, no? Very different, What yes. do you think of her, of her life about um, love? I, I don't really think about it. I just write about other people's. Yeah, you are inspired by her sometimes? No, no. No? You want to write a book I about wanted, Peter Horn, for I, instance? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny, you know, I wrote a book called Hollywood Husbands, mm. and in it I had this outrageous soap superstar called Silver Anderson, mm. and she had this kind of boyfriend who was like mm. a barman hustler, yeah. and Peter Horn came up to me at a party one night, and he said, oh, Jackie, thank you so much for making me look so good. <laughs> I said, Peter, if that was about you, it would have been a different book. <laughs> Et pour être sûr de ne rien rater de Inarditube, abonnez-vous et mettez un pouce bleu.